What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 4 video here on the channel. As you see behind me, there is Dr. Madison Lee. That is because we're still on the Brotherhood of Steel side of the quest line. Uh, and in this specific part, we're doing the part where we're supposed to contact or talk to uh, Dr. Lee and see if we can get her to cooperate in building or just doing something for the Brotherhood. We'll find out here in a second, but if you're excited for this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, because it really does help this channel grow. So, enough yapping for me, let's go ahead and just jump right into this. Alrighty, let's if talk to Dr. Lee. Into working on Liberty Prime, you can forget it. Uh, I mean, you promised. You promised you'd help us. You're right, I did. But you neglected to mention that I'd be asked to work on Liberty Prime. I've been down this road with the Brotherhood before. I remember. Why would I make the same mistake twice? Um, because we're trying to save the Commonwealth. Because, because we care what happens to the Commonwealth. And we want to stop the Institute from using its technological superiority as a weapon. You know, if anyone else wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform said something like that... I'm not wearing one, though. Face. But coming from you, it sounds like you actually mean it. Tell Proctor Ingram to get her scribes ready. It's going to take a hell of a lot of work to get Liberty Prime back online, but we'll get it done. Nice. Dr. Lee is honestly she's uh, like a like a hard ass, but she's a sweetheart. Just overall, you know. Alright, let's go ahead and go though. Uh we gotta go downstairs and get on out of here and go back to the Boston Airport now so that we can talk to Proctor Ingram. She's the girl that's walking around uh, with power armor, with not even just the power armor plates, just the actual, like, the frame. And uh, that's because she has no legs, actually. Fun fact. I'm actually very curious to know what you guys think is your favorite uh, Fallout game. I know... For the most part, the community uh, consensus is that it's uh, New Vegas. It's a great choice, don't get me wrong. Personally, though, it's not my favorite. My favorite is Fallout 3. I've said it before. Uh, but I understand why you would think that Fallout uh, New Vegas is a, your favorite because it, it is a good one. But like I said, my favorite personally is Fallout 3. Let's go to the airport, though. We're making pretty good progress in this game, actually. Even though we're getting irradiated to hell right now. Oh, right, who cares? Let's go. Run! Alright, well, where's the exit to this place? Alright, this is where we talked to Proctor Ingram before. She's way up there. Let's go. Proctor Ingram. Proctor Ingram. I'm here. Oh, look. She's already... How did she beat us here? I don't know. Let's go. Proctor. Wow. Things are off to a good start. Isn't that right? I hope so. Prime suffered some significant damage to his memory flaw. I wish your people would have been a bit more careful, Proctor. The good news is that the damage isn't irreversible, and I should be able to get the power flowing into his CPU core without overloading. If your people stay out of my way, that is. Rude. Charming, isn't she? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that, Ingram. Don't worry about it. We might be butting heads on a few issues, but I've dealt with worse. Besides... Dr. Lee's worth all the aggravation. We're working with one of Prime's original designers. I don't see it getting any better than that. In fact, since things are going so well, we're gonna have you start building as electromagnetic actuators. Yeah, of course. Uh, whatever you need. Sure, anything you need. That's what I love about you. You're ready to leap into action, and I bet you don't have the faintest idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> the actuators are what allows Liberty Prime's arms and legs to move. Prime's new lens are way too heavy for the simple hydraulic pistons he had in the past. We're gonna have to rip those out, construct a brand new system using electromagnets, and install them in his limbs. What we need you to do is build the actuators for us. Now that you know what the actuators are, you need to know how to make them. These are the plans and the materials list. Don't 
lose them. Now, before you get that look on your face, you'll be happy to know that we have plenty of the raw materials on that list right here at the airport. The only thing we need you to head out and find is a high-powered magnet. According to Proctor Quinlan, the best place to find one is in any of the ruined hospitals around the Commonwealth. We've already sent out a few teams to find the rest of the high-powered magnets you'll need. They should be back by the time you return. Once you start building the actuators, we need one for each limb, so you'll need to make a total of four. Good luck. Cool. So we need to go and find a high-powered magnet. Where could we find a high-powered magnet? I think at one of the hospitals, I believe. Oh, uh, we don't even have it. I mean, we have Jamaica Plain, so we could just fast travel to Jamaica Plain and then run over there. It's not going to be very difficult to get there regardless. So, let's go ahead and go. But yeah, let me know, as I was saying before, let me know down in the comments uh, what your favorite Fallout game is. Uh, mine's Fallout 3. I know most people's is Fallout uh, New Vegas. Uh, I know a lot of people actually, believe it or not, really, really enjoyed Fallout 4. And hell, I'm, if I'm completely honest, I enjoy Fallout 76, but uh, I actually know a few people that have actually told me that Fallout 76 is their favorite game. And if that's the case for you guys, definitely let me know down in the comments. I'm actually if genuinely really curious. Buried treasure in Jamaica Plain. I hope it's something that the brother who would find useless. Uh, it's actually just a baseball bat, but sure. Oh wait, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I have to go to the hospital way out there. I'm like halfway tempted to just swim there, even though it's uh irradiated to hell. Let's go. I'm going to ignore that guy real quick. I don't really want to be involved with him at this moment. So let's go to the hospital. To the window. To the walls. Alright, Shaw High School. Got to be careful because there's super mutant body bags here. Not trying to get Oh crap, we're, we're gonna have to fight them, aren't we? Because that's the uh, Fallon's place over here. Yep. Oh god. Nope, not interested. Later. <laughs> Fun fact, this is the hospital that you have to go for another quest. That is probably one of the more fun quests. It's not my favorite quest line, but... It's probably one of the more fun quests or just period loved, you know, quest lines in uh, in Fallout 4, in my opinion. I'm not going to ruin it, but it requires a certain outfit and a certain submachine gun. <laughs> Silver in color. Alright, let's, let's just kill everybody. Hello. Thank you. Oh, that's a biometric scanner. I gotta find the thing I need. Hello. Goodbye. Anybody else here? No, I don't think I will. I wanna. I wanna clear up my stuff. Let's go ahead and go sneaky by. Um, alright. We're actually close, I think. Oh, this is a good guy. You are not, though, my friend. Quiet. I got business to take care of with some robots, all right? You. Attention. How many are left? Should be considered armed and dangerous. Let's go. So where's my where's my item? Huh? Where's my item? I think it's in the final room, actually. It's gotta be, right? 
I suppose we'll go for now. It's unbelievable how far we've gotten in this game so far. This game is so fantastic, man. I love Fallout. Such a good franchise, in my opinion. Hiya! And yes, that does include Fallout 76. I do enjoy it a lot. Come on, baby, where are we going? Yeah, this is the final room right here. Well, the elevator to the final room, I should say. All right, let's go. Where's Dance, anyways? Oh, he's right here. Hello, Dance. Goodbye, Dance. <laughs> oh, I love it. And we're here. Oh, these guys are friendly, so... Later. This guy isn't Dr. Handy, medical doctor. That's pretty cool. You know, I'll take that 45. I'll take all your ammo. High powered magnet. All done. Now we gotta leave though. Hi, yeah, let's go. I wish there was a, like an immediate way to get out of here. But there isn't, we have to basically Someone backtrack. Sub dance. There is a shortcut though, right here. If I just go straight out this door and drop, I'm back on the floor that leads outside. Let's go to sneak mode though, because I'm not trying to get blown up by one of those super mutant suiciders. That would be unpleasant. Although I think I do get an achievement for it. I'm not sure if I've gotten it before though. Maybe I should try it. Yeah, I think we're gonna try it. I think it'll be funny. Not sure if I've got it or not, but hey, what the hell. Might as well try it, right? It's worth a shot. Whenever it loads, that is. <clears throat> Eventually. Yeah, this is... I love this game to death, but this is one of the things that makes it frustrating on playing Fallout 4 specifically on the channels. The loading screens are just too damn ridiculous. It doesn't help that I'm obviously using some CPU bandwidth or whatever on other things like uh, like OBS, for example. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Let's kill Homeboy real quick. Alright. Well, since we got a little bit of time, let's go ahead and uh, save it right here. What the hell's going on? I'm not entirely sure, actually. All right, let's quick save now that we're clear. Let's find that suicider. There he is. Hello. Oh, there's it is. Touchdown, I got the achievement. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know why that's a, an achievement, but damn it, I love it. Alright, well now that that's been taken care of, let's go ahead and fast travel back to the Bostonian Airportian. So that we can build these actuators. Now that we got the parts that we need, essentially. All we needed was uh, the, the high-powered magnet, because all the rest of it is already... Uh, when, you, when you're on this quest, it basically just gives you that... The scrap you need to build it. So it's cool that it, it does that for you. It makes it a little easier, I think. What's you guys' favorite mission in this game? For those of you guys have that uh, have played it, 
I don't know which one would my, that mine would be. I think as far as uniqueness goes, it's probably the one with the giant boat. Um, I forgot what it's called. I do want to do it eventually, though. Special. All right, one. Is that three? All right, four. There we go. Or do I need five? There's four. All right, go. we're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go. Hey, get out of my way. Oh, Proctor Ingram. Joining our cause with Shut up, dude. Hello. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. That's all four actuators. Delivered and done. Nice work. Right on schedule. Thank you. I've completed the restoration of Prime's basic functions, and he's ready to go. In fact, it's getting difficult to explain to the system why it can't move right now. Well, as soon as my scribes get those actuators in place, we'll have his arms and legs installed in no time. Which brings me to your next assignment. It won't be long before Prime can walk and talk, but he's missing one last important element. His nukes. Without them, his offensive systems aren't operating at peak capacity. Um. No problem. Uh. Hold on, is that going to be a problem? It's going to be impossible to find a stockpile big enough for him. You might be right. Prime's bomb pack is fitted for Mark 28 nuclear bombs. The same type of bombs that were dropped from aircraft during the Great War. The Commonwealth was a major staging area for the military's air force, so we assumed we wouldn't have trouble finding them. But since we arrived, our scouting teams haven't located a single bomb. That's going to be a problem. Without a fully loaded nuke pack, Prime won't have the firepower to take on the Institute. Um... Can we build nukes? Can I build the nukes like I built the actuators? I could build you a thousand nuke casings right now, but we've got nothing to put inside them. The Mark 28s have a specialized nuclear payload that requires the correct balance of fissile materials in order for them to detonate properly. In other words, I'd love to mix you a cocktail, but I'm all out of liquor. But Makes before sense. you give up hope, there's actually a silver lining here. Proctor Quinlan has located some records regarding a military installation which was used as a nuclear weapons storage facility. We're fairly certain this included a stockpile of the Mark 28s. The catch is that the installation is located somewhere within the glowing sea. Uh, fairly certain? What do you mean you're only fairly certain? <laughs> Are they in there or not? The glowing sea is so heavily irradiated, it's giving us echoed readings and false positives. We're just going to have to trust the records on this one. Scribe Halen's established a communications point on the frontier of the Glowing Sea. I suggest you head out there first and establish a signal protocol with her so that the nukes can be airlifted out once you've located them. Hopefully, by the time you've returned, we'll be ready to wake Prime up and you can say hello. Good luck, Knight. Thank you. So I guess now we're going to go see Scribe Halen again. Yay, yeah, I like her. All right, let's go ahead and... Fast travel straight there. She said it's on the frontier. Literally right next to where we've already discovered. It's going to be nice to see Scribe Halen again. She's such a good character, man. She's such a good person, too. I like her a lot, actually. To be completely honest. I kind of... I kind of wish that... Paladin Dance and uh, Scribe Halen had like a a little bit more in terms of their infatuation. Oh no, let's kill these things before it gets bad. Hello. This thing is hard to shoot. Alright. Uh... Not in vats, cause it has a very big kickback. Oh, I thought I killed him. Oops. All right, well let's go talk to Scribe Halen. That's the second time we had a radiation storm in this area. Hey, look, here she is. Waypoint Echo. You know what? Hello. Excuse me, Scribe Halen. It's good to see you again, Knight. You've come along. Oh crap! My bad. 
Uh... Cambridge Police Station? How things been over there? Pretty well, actually. We've had the occasional synth attack, but so far we've been able to keep them from overrunning us. Thanks to the reinforcements and the air support, I'd say that site was secure. Good. Um, what about the ferals? What about those feral ghouls? They still a problem? With a vertebrate at our disposal? Not a chance. Anyway, I know you don't have time for small talk, so I'll get right to it. I've had the men set up the equipment we'll need to pinpoint you once you've found the bombs. We've rigged up this distress pulser to emit a unique tone that we'll be listening for. When you find the bombs, plant the pulser, and we'll handle the rest. After that, you should probably head back to Proctor Ingram and bring her your report. Distress pulser. Um. Distress pulser? <laughs> Why use this distress pulser? Unless you could locate an entire radio station within the glowing sea, there's no way you're going to be able to send out a regular signal. Luckily, the distress pulser's ping cuts right through the interference, and we'll be able to hear you as long as we stay close to the frontier. Look, I know you've been through the glowing sea before, but remember to keep an eye on your Geiger counter. If you don't, the radiation will cook you from the inside out. Good luck, Knight. Touche. So, do I have a hazmat suit? Yes, I do. So, one thing I do want to do first before I do that mission, I want to go over... Wait, where am I going? To... The Rocky Cave and talk to what's his name again? Um the super mutant dude. Cause he helped us out before. So I want to give him back the thing that we got from the institute for him. The serum? Before we get too far, you know? Alrighty. Virgil is his name. Virgil. Oh, Virgil. I still have your well, rifle, by the way. I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Nope. Uh. I mean, it worked. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? Uh, yeah, here you go. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Dance didn't like it. This has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. Yeah, what does that mean? What are you doing? I think he's a little confused right now. Yes. Yes. It seems to have matured nicely. Uh, that's good, right? That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. All right. Here we go. He just no. gave himself a shot. We wait. Um, how long? How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. Yeah, no problem, man. That's, uh, good. How far are we again from the location we're supposed to be? Not too far. We could probably run there right now, actually. Let's go. And now, Virgil... <laughs> Virgil has a serum. So, that's good. The funny thing about it is, when I gave him the serum, dis uh, Dance disliked it. <laughs> he really hates super mutants, to the point where even if we find a cure... He won't be, uh, satisfied. This is gonna be dangerous, cause there's a lot of very dangerous things here. But we got Paladin Dance with us, so... That's a good thing. Paladin Dance is a good combat effective, uh, companion, I think. Is 
Is there anything around here that could be potentially dangerous? Uh, nothing really that I see. I just need to keep going and pushing. Oh, just make sure I don't jump to my death though. Look at that, we're already here. That A thing on the bottom of the map, that's the location I'm going for. Let's go. Hello. Nope. Don't want to fight you guys, so please leave me alone. Pretty please. Uh, I think they're leaving me alone. There it is, the building. I don't remember how to get in, though. I think it's a separate building. It's in here. Oh, no, it's not. All right. It's not a separate building. It is this building. Sentinel Site Project. Well, this is interesting, to say the least. There's a pyramid in the middle of a freaking glowing sea. Seems like the Aztecs are the, or the uh, Incan, uh, you know, people are living out here. That's probably what happened to them. They just decided to book it to the glowing sea when the bobs, when the bobs fell. Dun, 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 dun. All right, good. Whoops. Good, good, good. We got to make our way down this enormous place. What is that supposed to mean? I wonder. Alright, well, one thing's for sure. We really gotta turn off that freaking alarm. I almost said fan. I need to remember where it's at, though. Uh, open blast door. Oh, I, I can't open it until I turn off the alarm. I kind of don't want to come back if I do, though. Hello? Anybody alive out here? Is this the alarm? I believe it is. No, this is just an open blast door. It's in this room. I, I'm fairly certain of it. Or at least this area. gotta be this it's gotta be no not the desk the terminal abort launch sequence there we go uh what is this all right well we're good i guess whoops All right, he's dead. Dance, keep your eyes open because we're about to get some serious business. Um, there's my business. Is that it? Is that all I'm looking for? Look at this gigantic nuke. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Dance, you got this one? No? Alright, I'll do everything, I guess. What are you doing, Dance? Let's go. Stop acting like a kid. Oh! Come on.
That was uh, pretty amazing, actually. Nope. Never know. It's because everything is random, Dance. Should have known this already. You've lived in this world before. I was born by the wasteland or molded by it. You were. We should be close, actually. What is this? A corpse? Children of Adam? Gasp. Uh. Blood pack? No, thank you. Get out of my way, dance. Well, clearly this is the only way, so... Let's go. Hello. Still managed to kill him. Can you guys just relax a little bit? Thank you. Auto stim leather chess piece. I mean, I suppose. Hold on, let me see if it's a heavy leather set. Well, actually not right now. Because I'm going to need my... Uh, my hazmat suit. Anybody alive out here? No? Someone's bound to be here in a second. Alright, let's go this way. Look at all these dead ghouls. Where is everybody? Oh, we've already reached the end of the road. Look at this. Another dead atom. Um, okay then. Ah, hello. <clears throat> State your purpose, stranger. You walk on Atom's hallowed ground. Um, looking for some bombs, actually. Have you seen them? I'm looking for some bombs. Nuclear bombs. You trivialize that which resides here. This place is holy. The children of Atom have sworn to guard this place until the time of the Great Divide. None shall enter. Um... I'm on your side, bro. Trust me. I'm on your side here. I want to help you out. Atom has no need of help from non-believers. When he returns to us, these relics will carry his word and his glory to all corners of the earth. If you that say so. That is why they must be safeguarded. This man is obviously delusional. I recommend we switch tactics. <laughs> Check this out, Dance. Let me teach you a little something. I want to spread his glory. I want to spread his... Uh... G glory. Look, the bombs will get used, okay? Isn't that what you want? Perhaps then I have misjudged you. If you would see these relics used, then Atom's will is done. Take this, and prepare to enter his inner sanctum. Follow the brilliance of the glow, and it shall lead you to the relics. May Atom's radiance warm your soul. Why, thank you. Henry's terminal password. Nice. A remote control door. Open door. Hell yeah, the door opened. Let's go on... Dance, stop getting in my way, dude. Uh, okay then. We're here. Let's go ahead and throw this on here. The signal pulse. What's up, Dance? Paladin Dance. Now that the site's been secured, you should return to the air. Uh, good idea. Good idea. Wouldn't want these things falling into the wrong hands. Exactly. I'll meet you aboard the Fridwin as soon as these bombs are counted, tested, and loaded. Outstanding work, Knight. Thank you. So I believe there is a mini nuke 
in a crate around here. I don't remember where though. It's around here somewhere. Might be back here somewhere. No? Am I just tripping? I might just be... I might just be crazy. Oh, there it is. It's this one. Give me that damn mini nuke. Alright. Let's do this. Check this out. Do I, wait, do I have any... I don't. Yeah, it's okay. Ready. Set. Go. Nice try there, dude. But around here, I'm... Oh, crap. Too easy. I don't need any of that. Let's get on out of here. What is this? Is this heavy combat armor, though? No. Sure. All right, let's go. I keep forgetting to look for heavy combat armor. And let's bounce up out of here. Woohoo! Now we're going finally back to the glowing sea. The thing that sucks is that right after we get out of this loading screen, we're going to have to go into another loading screen immediately after so that we can go back to the Boston airport. Luckily, this one wasn't too bad. Um, Data, Liberty Primed, Boston Airport. The Brotherhood of Steel is honestly one of the coolest factions in the game. Or just Fallout, period, man. They're so cool. I don't know. I like them a lot. Just their style and the way they are. You know what I mean? How military-minded they are and etc man they're really good they're really cool i think obviously certain parts of the faction are debatably evil and some are debatably flawed but good like the capital wasteland they had good intentions for example under elder lions under elder maxin it's questionable D depends on your outlook on what a synth is, of course. If you believe it's nothing more than a robot, then... Yeah, I mean, the Brotherhood of Steel is actually a good... They're good. But if you think they're sentient and they're actually people, then no, they're they're evil and there's no way around it. Proctor Ingram? Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. It won't be too much of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep the system stable are gonna hold. Um, I believe in you. It'll I work. Have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. I appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. Actually, I think I'm gonna let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task, but... To push a button? I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. <laughs> I don't see uh, pushing a button being very difficult, but okay. Liberty Prime. Oh, Back snap. Online. Diagnostic command accepted. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Designation Liberty Prime Mark II. Mission The liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> Primary targets any and all red Chinese invaders. 
Couple of hundred years late, buddy. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Reload required. We're on that, buddy. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Yep. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. Hell yeah. Good. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. That's good, right? Uh, the Institute is pretty screwed. With him on our side, I don't see how the Institute even stands a chance. I couldn't agree with you more. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came yeah. up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. Cool. Uh... Thank you. This wasn't necessary, Ingram. <sighs> Come on. You earned the damn thing. <laughs> Besides, Liberty Prime isn't about to run out and get you a gift. Anyway, that's enough of that. You better hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxson said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. You're welcome. Cool, Liberty Prime is primed. Let's go ahead and put our clothes back on. Hold on. Let me look at myself and make sure... Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh... Alright, armor that. Okay. Let's throw that on just to see if it works. Um... Where's my glasses? Patrolman sunglasses. That should be everything, actually, right? Yeah, we're good. Unfortunately, this isn't... Heavy armor, so I don't want it on. I don't want it at all. Cool. Um. Actually, you know what? That's gonna have to do it for this video, guys. In the next video, we're definitely gonna do this next mission. Uh, it's called Blind Betrayal. This one is a very big one. Uh, if you haven't played this game, if you haven't played this game, I'll definitely show you in the next video. But if you enjoyed this video though, do me a huge favor, drop a like on this video. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So with that being said, catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.